The mole's latest victim was the lawyer, Shintani. The last call he made brings the case that ruined Yagami three years ago back to the surface. A patient was taken from a hospital and found buried in the mountains. Yagami defended the suspect, Shinpei Okubo, and got an acquittal. But one month later, he murdered his girlfriend, Emi Terasawa, with a kitchen knife and burned the remains. I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintani. Is that so? I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law Office. Officer, is this interview voluntary or...? It is. It's your call, Yagami-san. I think I'll pass. Excuse me? You have your answer, sir. You can go now. You can make this easier if you come now. Next time, it won't be voluntary. Your empty threats don't mean much to a lawyer. Can you take this elsewhere? I really must be... Too bad he's not a lawyer anymore, then. Your friend's nothing now. Just come along quietly. I'll come back with a warrant if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Why do you suspect me, anyway? I bet you don't even have a reason. I can come up with a few good ones. Enough! Get the hell out of my office! You'll regret this, Yagami. Kuroyo-san! <sighs> you two! Out! Before we go, can we speak to Shono-san for a sec? We need to know why Shintani called him. Listen, I already told you he doesn't know. Get it through your skull. Now, please leave. No problem. We'll let you get back to work. This is really getting out of hand, don't you think? I can't believe that detective thinks you're a material witness. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. But what I'm more interested in is how he even knew where to find me. That's a good point. How would the police know we were here? Beats me. For now, let's focus on Shono, though. It would be a waste coming here and not talking to him. Agreed. Let's see if the receptionist can help us. Can I help you? Actually, I've already been here. I was just with Director Kido, remember? Um, oh, of course. Did you forget something, sir? Well, not exactly. I'd actually like to speak to Shono-san, the 89 researcher. Where would I be able to find him? Let me see. Uh, that should be the research wing. I believe he's in the Protein Abnormalities Lab. Probably need a gold keycard to get in there, huh? That's correct, sir. I should be able to lend you one with the director's approval, though. Just give me a moment to ask. Could you tell me your name, sir? Actually, uh, never mind. Kido-san seemed pretty busy earlier. I'll try back later. Are you sure, sir? Good call. There's no chance Kido-san would let us in. At least now we know where Shono is. Yeah. I wonder if there's a map around here somewhere. Suspicious. Hey. What the? This leads to the research wing. 
The receptionist said he would be in the protein abnormalities lab, right? Huh. Well, I guess that's not on this map. Hmm. Hey. This is where we are now, the ADDC lobby. Suspicious. What the? Suspi the service entrance parking lot. All the delivery people come in and out through here. This is where Okubo's truck was parked three years ago. Hmm? Director Kido's office. We were just in there. Hey. This goes over to the hospital. I think Wakusan was up on the fourth floor. Some kind of security gate, huh? The research wing must be just past there. Um, excuse me. Yes, ma'am? This is one of Shono-san's researchers. She was just about to return to the lab. Oh? My name's Hashimoto. I can show you into Dr. Shona's lab if you'd like. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> Great. We'll take you up on that. Wonderful. Hashimoto-san just happened to be passing through. Thank you. Right this way. I really appreciate this, Hashimoto-san. I'm Yagami. And I'm Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. Thank you for doing this. Oh, don't mention it. I'm glad to help a guest of Director Kido's. This place is so massive, you practically need a tour guide to get around. I hope you're okay with walking. So, Hashimoto-san, what kind of work do you yourself do here? I'm part of the team developing 89. Dr. Shono is the head of that team, but I'm pretty new around here. Speaking of, what exactly does AD9 stand for? Well, the AD comes from the name of the center. The Advanced Drug Development Center, ADDC. And it's the ninth drug our department's developed. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. It'll be the first dementia-curing drug on the market, right? Seems like it's really getting fast-tracked because of that. But there's a lot riding on this one, right? It could finally cure Alzheimer's disease. That's right. Do you know how many dementia patients there are in Japan alone? A couple hundred thousand, at least. Maybe even in the millions? Right. As of 2012, there were 4.62 million. That many? By 2025, that number will increase to at least 7 million. Potentially up to 13 million, including at-risk patients. That's one in every nine people. Yikes. However, as a nation, we're already at capacity in caring for these patients. In many cases, people over 60 are stuck looking after their dementia-struck parents in their own homes. Worldwide, it's estimated there will be 135 million patients by the year 2050. It's staggering. In other words, AD9 could save the world. This could be a real miracle. I gotta say, uh, this is making me feel kinda bad about how we treated Kido-san back there. Director Kido will go down in history if we achieve this. A lot's changed in three years. The bastard's really made a name for himself. Be nice. Dr. Shono is right over there. Well, if you'll excuse me.
Shonasan. Yagami-san? But uh, how did you get in here? Hey, calm down. I just want to talk. I, I, I can't do that. Kido-san doesn't know you're here. Does he? Is there a problem? Oh, Ichinose-san. Uh, well, I... Uh... I've never heard you raise your voice, Shono-san. Aren't you the guy from the lobby? My name is Ichinose. I'm here from the Ministry of Health, offering political support to AD9's development. Kirosan called you Vice Minister. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Pretty lofty for a Vice Minister. You can boss scientists around, but I'm not biting. So I see. Shonosan, please. I just need a few minutes to talk. We'll leave right after we're done, promise. I already told you I, I can't. Not without Kirosan here. I need you to tell me. Why did Shintani call you? Shintani? I've never heard that name in my life. This is important, Shono. You have to have some idea. Please, I, I don't. Now get out of here. I'm calling Director Kido. Do what you want. Just let me ask you one thing first. <sighs> After Shintani was murdered, the killer gouged out both of his eyes. Three other near-identical murders have taken place in Kamurocho recently. Are you aware of that, Shono-san? Of course I am. It's all over the news. And you still have no idea why Shintani called you? Nothing at all? No, I don't. Now please let me get back to work. What the...? What are you doing here? Kido-san. I believe I told you to leave. What about that didn't you understand? I wanted to ask about Shintani's call. About which I already said Shono doesn't know anything. And I needed to hear that from him, not you. Enough. Call security. We were just leaving. Come on, Hoshino-kun. I'll be filing a complaint with the Bar Association. Under the Minister's name. The Minister? Of health? That's right. Minister Kazami expects great things from AD9, and he won't tolerate distractions from your ilk. I feel like we came up empty handed. <sighs> Why would Shintani-sensei have called Shono-san? Yagami-san? That wasn't the first time I've heard about Minister Kazumi. Huh? When was it, though? Who was talking to me about the Ministry of Health? It must have been Ayabe, when we were drinking over a tender. I definitely remember him mentioning Minister Kazumi. We were talking about how the Kyore clan ended up in Kamurocho. Apparently, they're being used as muscle for a construction company called the Kajihira Group. A while back, Chairman Kajihira himself was going around, laying the political groundwork for a Tokyo revamp project. And one of the people he met with was Naohisa Kazumi from the Ministry of Health. Huh. You'd think he'd go to the Ministry of Land, though. His project has nothing to do with health. What would he gain from meeting Kazumi? That's true. Do you think it has to do with our case somehow? I don't know. Depends on what the two of them are talking about. In that case, maybe our Kajihira expert can help us out with that. Who? Sugiura-san. He used to work for them, remember? Oh yeah. So, you want to know how Kajihira and Kazumi are connected? Yeah. Any way you can find that out? Not really sure, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. You're still at the ADDC, yeah? Just give me some time. I'll call you if I find anything.
Oh, Yagami-san. Um, I'm gonna head back to the office. I just got an email from Saori-san. Apparently, a journalist named Hattori barged into the office. Says he wants to interview you. Me? It sounds like he's looking into Shintani Sensei's murder, too. Anyway, I'll go ahead and drive him off. <laughs> You'll begin to Sensei's ace attorney before you know it. Nah, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Honestly. Why? Too much responsibility for a guy my age, you know? <laughs> I, I think I make a much better sidekick for now. <laughs> okay, but when that gets old? I don't know that it will. Being a professional sidekick for the rest of my life sounds okay to me. <laughs> I'll see you later.
<laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Kaito! Kaito! Aibo!
doing this. Really, guys? Hey! Kaito! Mm-hmm. 